Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome to Mushroom Forest Walker. Basically, we got Mushroom Picking Simulator, which does sound amusing to start with. It does sound quite funny that you can have a Mushroom Picking Simulator, but from what I've seen of the game um, and seen of the ideas of what the game is going to be able to do, this is going to be a really good game. And I think it's going to have a lot of fine details that are going to be awesome. Um, and this is a demo. I've been sent a demo to take a look at it, and I'm, we're going to take a look through it. I haven't actually played it at all yet. This is my first look. You woke up at noon. You feel dizzy and confused, unable to remember what you did last night. Hunger and cold suggest it is a good idea to light fire. Start. Light bonfire. Get three pieces of wood. Click on bonfire to start crafting. Craft bonfire with three pieces of wood. Okay, that sounds simple enough. Right, I'm not sure where... Right, let's see what these... Uh, the wood just. First of all, let's just... Oh, there's a mushroom there. It's a mushroom picking simulator, so let's pick the mushroom. There we go. Parasol Picker Apprentice. Oh, we'll grab that one as well. Now we've got... Uh, oh, there's some wood there. I need to... Isn't this... Is what, this is what I'm supposed to be sitting on for the fire, isn't it? Let's go a little bit further afield and get some other pieces of wood so that I don't have to sit on them there. So we want to get three of those and then we bring them down to the bonfire and we click on the bonfire. We should now be able to craft, in theory. Ah, there we go. Uh, select a blueprint in the list to start crafting. Items in red are missing. If all are black, you can craft the item. Bonfire. There we go. Bonfire. Required items. Three wood. Craft item. There we go. Brilliant. Now it's time to craft cooking place to prepare food. You need three wooden sticks. Use axe to craft them from three wood pieces. Also necessary a rope and two cooking pots, which you will find in the tent. With all necessary items, craft cooking place near bonfire. Okay. We need to get ropes. We need to get sticks and bits of wood. And we need to pick mushrooms. We must not forget to pick the mushrooms. This is what the game is about. The game is mushroom picker. You can't jump. There is no jumping allowed. I don't like this. Oh, fly agaric picker apprentice so it's not just running around picking mushrooms and stewing shrooms and then and, and having um and, and tasty potions no what this game is also about is apparently you can brew concoctions you can brew um various different potions and stuff with it using um i think it's alchemy and stuff like that and uh, once you uh, you do that you can sell it to make a load of money um and there's other things that you can make with it as well it does actually look like it's going to be quite cool I, I, when I first seen it, I did originally think that it was a very much a kind of medieval style RPG type game. I thought, well, that's, that actually that does sound really cool, especially with the alchemy and stuff like that. Boletus picker, red pine picker. We've got loads of mushrooms here. Um, however, when I look a little closer and you see like the tent that we've got here, that is a very modern looking tent. So maybe it's not going to be quite like that. Maybe it's going to be slightly different. So we go to axe crafting here, and I want to make sticks. I want wooden stick right there, and I want to craft three of those. So if I go craft item like that. Ah, there we go. It's just gone through and it's done the three of them. Um, yeah, and then... Right, so I want to bring this one back over here. If I go cooking place like that, there. Uh, oh, I need rope and I need cooking pots. Uh, I need to press the X on there. I want to go into the tent. How do I get? How do I get in the tent? Let me in. Oh, there we go. Open tent. I see. Right. Flashlight. A mobile with scan app. Right. Accept. Take that one. How do I do this? Oh, right. Yeah, right click is a lot easier. Let's just do that. Let's just right click everything. And we've got. Uh, oh, there's. Is there money? I don't know what that is. Am I? Uh, oh, did, did I eat? I'm not really sure. I don't know what that was, but yeah, so it's it's a modern one rather than a medieval type approach. And I honestly, I don't know how I feel about that. I, I kind of, I like, I, I'd kind of built up the picture in my mind that it was a medieval thing. Um, like that. And so it, it does, now that it's not that and it's slightly different, I'm not really sure how I feel about it. Especially with like the medieval approach with this. Uh, before you start to pick mushrooms, good to know what mushroom you found. Very useful is a scan app installed on your mobile. Mobile, you find in the tent, equip it, put it in a suitable slot, um, and then you can use it. Right. Equipped, in hand, scan app, mushroom scan, close app. Except. Right, what is, let's see what I and N do. So we've got Q is up here. Oh, that's, that's your quest. And then I over here is our inventory, and then N is, ooh, that's an in 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 index. Scanned, scan mushrooms, receive new information. Okay. Uh, so I want to go to 
eye like this and then I want to get my mobile and I'm going to put that one down there how do, how do I oh put it up there like that so that's um right and then it turns up down down in my on um, on my inventory so if I come running down here I've already picked a load of mushrooms I've gotten a bit ahead of myself so we'll come through here oh there's a mushroom there's one right there and so if I go number three and then what how do I, how do I scan scan app get my e equip it in moving mobile from inventory to suitable slot use mobile with key three open scan app with right ah oh there we go uh, right mouse button point mobile at mushroom start the scan to see mushroom and click left mouse button okay right so let's let's go like this and then right mat there we go right ah oh, I see right so then I got a scan so I just click bolitas edible yes toxic no brilliant okay so then I right click again and that one goes down there equip a flashlight and smartphone you can go find some mushroom try to find five mushrooms of each kind when ready come back to your cooking pot and prepare some meals to avoid my uh, starvation eat some mushrooms but not the toxic ones right so we need to go and get five of each of these types of mushrooms I've already got some ah there's one I see one up there that is probably one that I've already got yes I recognize that mushroom I've already got that one this one here I have not scanned so we need to do that and then you just scan it like that it tells you toadstool it's toxic it's edible but it's also toxic it makes no sense how can it be edible and toxic the toadstool apprentice right there's another one that we haven't scanned yet so we need to do that and then you go like that parasol that is edible and toxic edible and toxic it literally makes no sense at all I want that one there um, I need to find five of each okay I don't like the demonic altar that we've got here this this seems poor the sacrifice okay we've got it we've got a blend of medieval style RPG game and modern game as well I'm, I'm actually thinking that maybe this blend is going to be quite pleasant it's, it's going to be a, a good mix so you got like the mobiles so you can do the scanning but you've also got some other darker affairs going on so we've, we, we've already scanned that one haven't we um, so let's pick those I need to find five of each of those mushrooms don't I so let me let me, let me grab I've already scanned that thing um, let me come down here are there animals that we got to worry about as well get that and then oh that one's different I think is that one uh, red pine yeah I haven't scanned that one it's not toxic either I can eat that one excellent I've never heard of a red pine mushroom I'm guessing that's a US based one rather than oh, I might I suppose it could be continental Europe could just as easily be continental Europe and um, there are many mushrooms on the main continent that are not here in the UK many many mushrooms um, the selection of mushrooms that we have in here in the UK I, I believe is a little bit more limited uh, certainly limited the ones I've seen are field mushrooms and then horse mushrooms which are pretty much the same thing just bigger uh, but more inclined to go they, they, they uh, horse mushrooms you got to be a bit more careful with it they can can go bad sacrifice but there's a lot of sacrifices that go on in this place I feel a little bit nervous the number of sacrifice bowls makes me think that perhaps some bad stuff could go down at some point I'm guessing after you've eaten a big pile of mushrooms certain mushrooms certain there's certain types of mushrooms that if you eat them um, strange things can happen very strange things uh, right I don't want to do that I want to do that like that and then let's t let's press uh, let's press Q and see what we got. So we got five parasols five bolitas I need birch boulette and uh, yeah so there's a few that I still need but we're not doing too bad we're, we're doing okay at the moment let's continue our search I've already got enough of those um so oh there's another one i want one of those i definitely want one of them and right there oh that's oh that's a little one so now if i look for yeah we're, we're doing much better we're doing much better so if i look around i mean look at this area it, it is absolutely beautiful this is just a demo and is running really smoothly as well i've got 80 to 90 frames per second um, which is it, really good. It doesn't have a. I do generally try to limit the games to 60 frames a second um, with the V-Sync, so that I don't end up having um, issues with screen tearing. But this, I've not had any issues with screen tearing on this, and it is running at a good. Actually, it's running between 90 and 150 frames a second continuously on this, so it's it's doing very good. 
very, very occasionally, if I spin round fast, it's dropping down to 70 frames. So I'd say it's pretty slick. And there is a lot of potential in this game for expansion and extra things. Um, I mean, I, I will be honest, when I first seen the idea of this game pop up on Facebook, Great, now you can prepare six different soups and eat some to avoid starvation. Carefully, don't eat toxic soup. When ready, you can find local people. Maybe they'll be interested in your items. Okay, ideal. Accept. So I've picked all the different parasol picker acolyte. I've picked all the different mushrooms that I need now. And we've got more uh, altars and things like that. This is absolutely gorgeous. Look at it. It's absolutely wonderful. I really, I, I'm absolutely loving this game. I, I did, I honestly, I laughed out loud when I um, first seen the idea of this game. I thought, well, you know, as far as um, simulators go, this is kind of scraping the barrel now, surely. But having wandered around here for a few minutes, this is absolutely wonderful. It is genuinely, genuinely wonderful. It's beautiful. Um, the sound you've got, the, the sound of the birds in the um, like the, in the background. It's not overpowering I have like a set level of sound that I was used in a game and then I will alter it afterwards I mean, I'm gonna edit the sound slightly for this one but I I do that as kind of a benchmark so that I know exactly what I'm getting into and what what I'm hearing and so on and whether they've got a, a, a good balance of it and this is absolutely it is wonderfully done there's a little bit of music in the background playing plus the the, the birds and the, the wind in the trees and it is stunning genuinely genuinely stunning I am I am really seriously impressed with this game so far so far right let's go and have a look we want to go to the cooking pot um what do I need to do hang on uh, I, I forgot to check the quest right I need one soup of each so let's continue so all I gotta do is I go on here Belitus soup and I can craft that item and then I can go down here to birch bullet soup um, items in red are missing. Select a, a blueprint. So we do that one. And then I can get the next one. So we got there as one Bolitas soup. Very refreshing. Um, and then the fly agaric soup. Fly, is it agaric or ag agar agaric, I think? Fly agaric. Uh, that one there. Very toxic. Very refreshing. Very refreshing. Parasol. We'll craft that one. So um, at least it tells you that it's very toxic. We are going to find out before I leave. Uh, that one's refreshing. So we've got very refreshing and you've got refreshing. Um, and then we want the red pine. I will find out before we go whether or not, you know, what happens when we eat something that's bad. Oh, I, oh, I didn't even look up in the top corner. Up here, look, your health 100 out of 100. Hunger, hunger is 63 out of 100. Toxins, 0. Strength, 10 of 10. Experience, 198 out of 1,000. Uh, and then the toadstool soup is the very final one. We will craft that one right there. So we got refreshing, very toxic, very refreshing, very refreshing, and very refreshing. And then the last one, toadstool, very toxic. Uh, right, so we will have to get each, each of those. You are ready to talk with Jacob the Walker. You will find him near the river. Eat a soup to avoid death by starvation. Find Jacob the Walker, he lives near the river. Open new quests. Okay, we go there. Right. So we can get new quests there. Now, we need to avoid death by starvation. So apparently you can starve to death. Excellent. That pleases me immensely. Um, I, I realise this may be a strange thing that it pleases me immensely, but it does. It does, it does, it does. Right. Health, uh, right, hunger. Uh, right, so we right-click to consume it. And then it drops by a quarter. It doesn't say how much. I'm guessing it will later on when the game is um, there's a bit more to the game. Do we have a map? We have no map. So he's down by the river. I need to go and find the river. I also need to find a torch. Uh, that one there, I need to equip like that. How do I How do I equip? Um, I put that down there. No. Right-clicking on there. All right. I'm not really sure what to do now. Oh, I see. Once once you exit that um, screen, it does it comes up, and then you can you you so you press the button to equip it, like that to to bring it out, and then you right click to actually use said button. So we're now on nighttime exploration, trying to find the river. Um, I cannot begin to describe 
How creepy. Sacrifice one to find another, follow the path of light. I cannot begin to describe how creepy I find it, that that was empty previously, and now it's burning and it's night time. That is... If it weren't for the music, I would be quite scared right now. I, I genuinely would be quite scared about what's going on. Um, but the, the music is making it feel like it's still everything is okay. You can't jump. You must remember that you can't jump. I like the sound of the insects. I do. It reminds me very much of when I lived in the tropics. It's, that was all you had all night was, was that. Uh, right, he's the walker must be over there. I'm not going to jump off the cliff. You know I want to. I really want to. Okay, we're, we're going to do it. We're, we're going to try and jump. What happens if... What ha oh, I can't. I'm going to get stuck. I'm stuck! No! I, I don't want to be stuck. And now it's raining. It's hoofing it down with rain. So you can't just jump off of something. Um, it is very much like we've sort of been taken from modern day times and put into old times. I don't know, I, like, I, I quite like this. I mean, we've got the, we've got, talk to Jacob the Walker. Okay, now it's getting scary and loud and spooky. And what is that in there? Oh, uh, I thought that was teeth. Is it? That looks like a portal over there. I, I really don't know what's going on. Right, let's talk here. Whoa, dude. What do you want? Show your goods. Okay, uh, that was actually quite scary. <laughs> Let's do show your goods first. Show your goods and trade next. Right. Um, what am I supposed to be doing? I can't remember what my quest is. He's got this stuff here. I want to trade. Um, I'm going to keep one. I'm going to keep the fly ag agaric soup. I'm going to sell that one. Are you sure you want to sell ten gold? Ooh. Okay. I will sell that to him. And then I'm going to do that a minute. And then I'm going to go Q and I'm going to see here. Find your easy near open new quests. Can't start. Right. Talk to Jacob the Water. Uh, quests. Do you have any quests? Next. Bring me metal detector and I will give you map of treasures. Detector is in the box at the old sawmill building on the hill. It's southeast from here. You'll open it with my key. Find a box with metal detector. It's in the old sawmill building located on the hill southeast. Accept. Right. On our way, southeast. I don't know which w which way is north. I have no idea which way is north. It's on a hill. It said something about a hill. In the old sawmill ruin, a uh, building located on the hill southeast from Jacob's house. Well, it's either that one over there, which I don't think it is. I don't think that's a sawmill. Oh, maybe it's. Is that it up there? This is a hill here. So let's look up here first and just see if there's anything up here. There appears not to be anything there. There's um the, the creepy thingies over there. Let's go this way and see if there's anything up on that hill over there. It looks like you can... Oh, we can run! Oh, thank goodness for that. We can run, but we can't jump. Right. Let's run then. We can run. Our strength is 8 of 10. I'm guessing maybe are we tired? Experience? Um... Where is this sawmill? Southeast. Well, I don't know which way is north. This is the this is the problem. This is okay. Uh, I, I'm getting confused, and I'm now lost in a storm. I don't know which way to go. Oh, right. He's he's over there. That's the the wall that we can't go past. Um, well, this would it would suggest that this is southeast here, but there's no ruin here. I don't see a ruin. Nighttime is dropping. This is really, really dark and scary and creepy, and I don't like it. I do not like it at all. It's on the hill southwest from Jacob's home. It's where I need to go. I do like that I can run. Oh, what's this? Oh no, that's that's the alt that's the altar. Pour the sacrifice. I'm not pouring any sacrifices. Not at the moment. Oh, maybe we can put some. Oh, I tell you what. Let's let's try it. We're gonna we're gonna try. And pour the sacrifice. Apparently I can't do any pouring the sacrifices. Well, I've found a ruins at long last. I've been I've been wandering all over the place. Just lost, dazed and confused. And yeah, um, it's raining. 
it's loud, it's noisy, and I'm getting a bit nervous about what could possibly be in the undergrowth and all the way around me and all sorts, and I, I don't really like it. But there, there doesn't seem to be the ruin that I'm after. There's lots of thunder, there's lots of rain, there's lots of lightning, and I can't find this ruin. There is no ruin anywhere. There's, I've gone past a load of those, like, altars. And I've, I've sort of found those. I'm just running along the very edge here. We've got these stones all the way along the edge. Which I'm guessing kind of mark the edge of where we're allowed to go at the moment in the game. Which is north and south and east and west. I've got no idea. I don't know which way we're supposed to be going. Uh, yeah. Everything is, everything is confusing at the moment. The hill to the southwest of his home is right here. Right, I'm on, I'm, uh, southeast rather. I'm, I'm on a hill, and this is the only hill that makes any sense. I've been all over. I cannot find any ruins. So where this metal detector is, I really have no clue. Um, we, I, I can't, you can't jump, so I can't get across here. I can't get over to there and see what's over on that side. And if I go over here, I can't, I can't get down through the water, so I can't, the, the, it's not over there. We've established that it's not that direction. Which means that it must be up here somewhere. And I, I can I can find wood. There's wood all over the place. But I don't see the item that I'm looking for. Boletus Picker Acolyte. We want ruins. And what we need to do is after we've got the in the it's in the old sawmill building located on the hill, southeast from Jacob's house. To navigate, use mobile phone with compass. Open box with Jacob's key and get detected. Use, use, use the mobile phone with the compass. Yeah, y you see that there? I am so stupid. I am so, so, so stupid. Southeast. Southeast. Right, you are kidding me, aren't you? I am going southeast. This is southeast. I have gone southeast and it wasn't there. Maybe I need to go further southeast. Maybe it's on this hill up here. I need to go up here. This hill up here. This is what it this is where it is. This is where it is. I know it. I can feel it in my bones. It's up here somewhere. We got there. Um no, it It's my camp. That's my camp! It's <laughs> All I've done is I've come back to camp. This isn't surely I'm not sitting on it. There's no ruins here. Southeast. There's the ruins over there. That's not a sawmill. Does that look like a sawmill to you? It doesn't look like a sawmill to me. That looks like something very strange and freaky with the whole um, sacrificial bowls. I'm not sure what they are, but I'm not sure that I want to know either. So if I keep going southeast, which is this way, sort of, I get to the edge of the map again. All the way up here. Northeast, southeast. There. <gasps> Is this it? <laughs> At last! I have found it. Craft wooden plank. Generate electricity. And I need the key, which I should have. There is the key. We have the key. Can you use the key? How do I use the key? Use the key. No, don't use the key. Uh, press I. Ah, open box. There we go. Take currencies, take all. Metal detector, that's what I wanted all this time. It wasn't on the hill just above his house. It was on the hill miles and miles away. You lied to me. Now, you can run around until your strength reaches one. And then you've got to stop and you've got to rest for a bit. So you, you, to rest, all you've got to do is just kind of walk for a little bit. And then you build your strength back up. See, it's gone down to, well, it's gone down to zero. Um, so just rest for a little while and then it starts building back up again and you're all okay. So we can come back down here at last. We can speak to Jacob the Walker. Very good. Quests. What do you want? I've got your thing. Do you have any quests? Next. Great. Here is your map with red crosses. There should be something interesting. Equip new items and go. Right. Find five places marked with red crosses on the map. Equip map from inventory to suitable slot. Open map with key six. When opened, you can use right mouse button to zoom map. On the map, you'll find five red crosses where are treasures. On the map, also I mark special places, buildings, black arrows, and your camp, black square. When in the right place, equip metal detector from inventory to suitable slot. Use metal detector with key four. Point metal detector at the place where the treasure is, the sound signal, and info, blah, 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 and yada, 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 and then dig up the treasures. Okay. 
We get the idea. Let's try it. Now, if we want to go here, I want to go to map like that. And also metal detector like that and shovel like that. So then I come out of this one by pressing I and there is all of our items there on the different places. So let's press 6. There we go. And then right click and then we can zoom. No, I cannot zoom in and out. I thought you could zoom in and out with the, with the, with the scroll. Didn't it say that? I'm sure it said that. Uh, nope, not there. Where? Nope. Buildings. When in the right place, equip metal detect. Oh, no. On the map, you'll find five red crosses. Right, there's a red cross nearby. So let me just get rid of that one. You can move around while you got the map out. But it doesn't update your position. Oh. <laughs> it doesn't show you where you are on the map. <laughs> I'm thinking the little bit in the middle is where I am. But no, that's not where I am. Right, so there's points of interest. on is it the, the black points, are, the, the black bits are points of interest. So I want to go. It's behind this one over here. Here it is. There, to you. You are the point of interest right there. And I'm sure there is treasure nearby. Uh, I think. So there's my camp. There's actually treasure near the camp. But I think that I'm on this bit up here. If you look, we, we had Jacob's house marked. And then it's straight that way I think I'm in the right place because it's a point of interest on the map uh, special places buildings right yeah so I, I'm sure that I'm in the right place I mean I'm in a constructed zone so I'm gonna go this side of it it's right here so then I need to go to four metal detector right now um, when in the right place, equip metal detector from inventory to suitable slot. Use metal detector with key four. Point metal detector at the place where you think the treasure is. A sound signal and info on metal detector will appear when you find something. Okay. No signal. There we go. I can see, I can see the thing. Ah, right. That's a horrible beeping sound, so let's let's get rid of that one. And we need to dig right here. There we go. Nailed it! We got some treasure! That is awesome! Okay, that is fantastic. Uh, let's press 5 to get rid of the shovel a minute. And then we can open the box. What do we got? We got a rifle and a diesel tank. And we got some cut take currencies. We got 10 golds. Take all. Right. I got a gun. I did not think this game came with guns. Frithgar and um, Magic Shrooms and Guns may not be the best combination. We'll see. Let's go there. Seven. Ha 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 ha! Shoot. Shoot! Fire! Fire! No, that's jump. Why won't you shoot? Have I got no bullets? I think I need bullets. I, I, I think that's why it won't shoot. Um... I'm doing that. Nope. I can't shoot anything at the moment. I can pick stuff up still. How do I fire? I'm pressing different buttons. Uh, no. Okay, so apparently we can't use the gun. Doesn't like it doesn't trust us with the gun at the moment. But there is there's that bit. Uh, there's five treasures that we've got to find all together. That's going to take us a long time. Um, but this is this is just the demo, so I don't imagine that there is very much more. There could very well be a lot more to this game. It already looks pretty epic, and this is just the demo. I think I'd say that it was pretty good. If you got this much stuff on just a demo, then we'd, we're doing pretty good with this. Um, we want to go to number four. And, oh, you can see a little black dot on the map that it sort of shows you where the stuff is. There we go. Like that, and then if I go five, um, and dig, and there is my treasure. So it's really easy to actually get the, uh, to find the hidden treasures. That is one cool thing. It's, it's actually quite easy to find it. Open the box. Uh, rifle. Diesel tank. Currencies. So I got two rifles now. Okay, me and two rifles. This is a deadly combination. Why do I need two? I'm curious if we've got anything else on the map. So we've got we've we've done two treasures. Um. If I look there, so really I'm kind of in a straight line between that treasure and the next treasure. There's another treasure down here somewhere. Right, I know where that is. I want to go straight down this hill. This is where I want to go. And I'm just going to go with number four. It's right here somewhere. There it is. 
You can see the little dot on my thing. There it is. Found that one. Okay, that's really, really easy to find. So maybe we can get the last couple of them. See what this is? I, if this is exactly the same, I'm... I, so I want to complete the quest anyway. I want to see what we get. Uh, let's do that. And then... With the box. Open the box. What have we got? Uh, exactly the same again. So we'll take all. Diesel tanks and guns. And now we've got... Right, there is another... Uh, there's another one... If I'm sort of looking in that direction, which is the same direction I want to go, uh, I want to go... I'm looking at my map. Right. I, I came down in the same direction, which was kind of that way. And then I want to turn... Well, I want to go that way, really, don't I? Yeah. Okay. No, not five. Let's go with four. I want to go this way. It should show up on the map, uh, on the on the screen in a minute. Should be some stuff showing up. I think I've gone too far. I've gone the wrong way. I've gone the wrong way. I'm now hopelessly lost. Okay, I've gone back to camp. And what I'm going to do is we need to go pretty much due west. Uh, east, sorry. Uh, we want to go due east from here. So if I get the mobile phone out there, I can actually do that. And then if I start heading due east, this should give us an idea of where this next piece is. It's over down through here. Right, it's in there somewhere. So now if I get the metal detector out, I should soon be able to locate the the patch of dirt. Uh, there we go. There we go. Ah, right. It's right close to that one. Right close to another altar. I didn't actually see it. But there we go. So we can do that. And then we can go to number five and we can dig it up. We have another rifle. Well, I got one rifle there. Oh, no. It's, it's stacked. Everything stacks. Okay. And then I got one more item on the map to find, which is... Now, we've got to look at this. Uh, that's almost due south from camp. And from where I am, it's actually going to be southeast. Right, I need to head southeast. So if I get my... Not the torch. Get my phone. And I want to head this way. So if I head this way, am I going to find... Am, am, I, in the, am I going the right way? I think I've, I may have misjudged this. Oh, no. Ah, maybe we got something back here at the old sawmill. Um, let's go with number four. Let's just take a look around the sawmill. Maybe I've got this right. I probably haven't. I'm looking around. I see. I don't see the little dot on there. It comes up on the screen. It's, it is very accurate. It does actually read it quite nicely. Okay, so that's not worked. I need to go back to camp. And then... Right, we went straight west, so I need to... Uh, where am I? I am in the right direction. Except that it's not the sawmill that I want to be on, I don't think. I think, this, I think, uh, she want to be close to the edge. Up here. This, this, it's this way. It's around here. You got, I, I need to go from the sawmill. There, I need to, it's over here. It's down the bottom of this valley. I, I miscalculated. Slight miscalculation on my part. I do apologise. We'll run down through here and we will find it in no time at all. Ah, near another building right there. I probably should have looked at that first. Right, so there is our thing. And then we can go here and we can dig. We can dig up the very last one. And this should be all of the items gathered. So we've actually completed our quest. Uh, so let's press 5. And if I go Q, red crosses 5 and 5. Use shovel with key 5. Uh, let me just open this chest. We, we do have to open the box. There we go. Get our last gun and so on. Take all. Right, so now if I go there, I go complete. Uh, I don't know if that's everything. I think that's everything. I think we've now had a... Yes. Can't start. Point metal detector. We have done everything that the demo has to offer. And if there is this much in the demo, you've got guns and metal detectors and all sorts. It looks like we've kind of got a futuristic environment where some things are left from the old world. So kind of like a... Um, Almost like a steampunk type thing. I, I don't know, not steampunk, but um, you get the idea. K kind of like a, a futuristic, um, post-apocalyptic, that's what I'm looking for. It's almost got a post-apocalyptic feel about it. Be you know, just the way that it's um, you've got ruins and old things lying around. And there are some things that you can use, but not everything. Um, so, yeah, I really don't know what it's going to turn out like. But from what I've seen of this game, it is 
already very, very cool. And this is just the demo. I can't wait for the actual game to come out. It is going to be brilliant. Um, there is a link, obviously, in the description down below, so you can go and take a look at the demo for yourselves. Uh, other than that, there's not a lot to add other than that I will be playing this when it comes out, and I will keep you updated on any progress as and when I find out about it. If you enjoyed the episode, then please head down below and give us a like, and if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. But until next time... Ooh! One more thing. We have to eat the mushrooms. Right, we have got... Fly agaric soup. Toxins 100. Drunk. <laughs> okay. That is very, very cool. I can't believe... <laughs> that is awesome. That is genuinely awesome. I'm struggling to move around. Look at... Look at... Look at what is going on. This is fantastic. Look at the colours. Dude, the colours. This is amazing. Um, I should have done this earlier. I definitely should have. So we got another one. Very toxic. Let's eat that as well. All the way back up. So our hunger is good. Health is minus seven. You died. Thanks for playing the demo. Pick the mushrooms 54 time in game. Lots experience. Lots. Final quest. What do you mean failed? I did it. Oh, of course I'm supposed to go back and give it to... What's his name? And that was the final one. Oh, well. That's the end of that. Um, so, yeah, until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Rithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.